G'day guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video of Winter Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are all well. So today what I want to do is I want to head out to uh, one of the uh, intermediate uh, zones and particularly I want to head over to the pine I believe it's the fine porous that we need to head out to today and the reason for that is I actually need pine well you know it goes without saying so the reason why that I need pine is because of that the undead squad so what I'm thinking or the pine woods so there we go um, yeah so pine woods is where we need to be at so the reason why that I want to head out there and grab as much pine as possible is we're going to need to do some massive upgrades for our um, base. And to get it to the next level, and prior to the update, it was very easy to upgrade your walls and things like that to go to stone and things like that. But ever since the latest update, there's a little bit more requirement in terms of making um, your walls are stronger than what they are to just standard wood. So this is what we need to do now to um, uh, You know s stay alive, I guess and don't get me wrong. I, I and if you if you guys did watch the previous video as well um, I did successfully defend my base from the horde that was coming through it took me maybe about three to four full trips um, and that's with using bone spears and a, a slightly better weapon as well to deal with those mini bosses um, And I needed about at least three sets of clothing to get the job done. So there was a few things that I needed to um, uh, That I needed to sort of work out and yeah, pretty much um, You know, I managed to um, Defend the base. So the problem is even though that I've done it once uh, naturally you know, you'd think we could do it every single time. That's not always going to be the case. So this is probably the reason why that's prompted me to sort of make a video like this today. Um, just to sort of work out um, a better base defense structure. So it's all well and good to, you know, try and do up your base, but it's going to cost time and resources. And if everyone um, that doesn't have a lot of time on their hands or if they play casually, you're going to find that we're going to run into a bit of issues when uh, when the, when you're trying to actually you know defend your base so pine is going to be very important because you're going to need pine to make pine planks to upgrade your walls from the wood over to the uh to the stone i believe it, it it'll be but um yeah so so basically that's the issue that i'm facing at the moment and you know, the sooner that I can start upgrading... Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's get out of here. There's a bit of lag going on here at the moment. So I might just duck out of the zone real quick. Let the zone reset. Um, Blizzard land. Oh, yes. Also, um, I did get asked a couple of questions in, uh, in between these uh, videos as well. What's the best place to start farming if you guys are very new to the game? Um, I believe it's the Blizzard Transit, which is the the easier of the three. You've got the Blizzard Land that you can see here. I would highly recommend anyone that's playing this game for the first time or have only just started to hit up the Blizzard Time Sensitive Events. The Blizzard Transit, I think it's going to be the um, uh, the easier of the lot. So if you guys can um, head over there. Now the reason for that is you're going to get a ton of wood. A ton of um, uh, hide and food so cold meats and the reason why that you want all that wood is that, that you can use that and burn it into charcoal and that will allow you to burn um, that over time a lot longer than what you would with wood in your um, in your campfire so in theory you'll be able to craft a lot more food you'll be able to craft a lot more other things as well at the same time so you will have a better um, experience um, in doing um, the wood to charcoal conversion so um, that is my biggest tip for you guys if you guys are definitely new to playing this game that would be my biggest recommendation is to not let that that event slip up or go um, past its um, time and duration because you're going to need to jump into that um, so that would be that so yeah so i'm um, back to it um, hopefully we can get enough 
resources and I don't get hassled as much as I ideally don't want to. But you guys get the general consensus here. I need to get enough um, pine so I can make planks and it's going to take me a hell of a long time to do so. What I was thinking and I'm not too sure if it's going to be viable in doing so is if I enlist in one of the uh, mercenaries which I haven't actually created a bed just yet for it. Oh, didn't want the overseer to um, uh, to come and annoy me but here we go. Let's just get out of his way and okay. Alright, looks like we're good. So, yeah, I was thinking about getting the mercenaries, but I don't know if they travel to these zones and chop down pine or any other resources. If you guys know, let me know in the comments section because I really want to um, know exactly uh, what they do or what they could harvest and what they don't harvest. So, that's something that I'll be interested in knowing. If you guys can help me out with that, that would be really helpful. So I think we nearly got everything in this zone for now. And I'm not too sure how much pine I've got this at the moment. Uh, 10. Okay, well that's not too bad. So I'm just going to quickly run around the edge around here and just... Oh, I didn't realise I was too far to the, uh, to the end there. Just wanted to quickly check if I've pretty much... Um, uh, if I've pretty much got all the pine trees. So I don't know how much pine trees that you can get per zone or per entry uh, once you let the zone reset um, or if you leave and go back kind of thing. Um, all right, so let's go over here. There's the big boss fella there. I'm stuck against a wall. Hall. I'm looking at the minimap while I'm running. That's hence why I'm not um, actually concentrating on what's going on here. So look... It appears that it's all been taken care of, which is good. I'm going to do the sneaky deaky and grab this before I get out of here. I think I can. And only to get moss. Okay, so not really worth it. But that's fine. Okay, so let's quickly go back home. And I'll just sort of go into maybe a minor explanation as to what I'm sort of planning on doing. So, um, and this is sort of going to set me up for, you know, future base builds and things like that. So I might even end up doing a base building video. Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested to see a base building video um, for my own base there. Um, I'll be interested to know if you guys would be um, at all interested. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so we're in base. If we're going to be attacked. We're going to be attacked, from, I'm assuming, from all angles. And as you can see here, is it's going to take a bit of stone um, block, but also, more importantly, pine planks. And to make pine planks is actually um, a bit of a time-consuming exercise, as you've just noticed there. Um, it nearly took me, what, nearly five, six minutes to do the zone. And you've got to sort of go in and out at a time. So it could be anywhere between five to about ten minutes per, um, per time that you, that you actually enter the zone to harvest all that pine and it's only in a very small scope as well so if you can do other areas or other places in the map that have pine then you're best off doing it um, anytime if you get like a, um, a pine log drop just take it don't um, uh, discard it or anything like that um, just you know giving you my best recommendations here guys so as you can see i'm actually right on the edge of the perimeter here of the buildable area so i'm gonna to have to sort of change this and sort of um rejig this to a point that i'm going to be satisfied with so i need to do a lot of work here to get that done i'm gonna to have to move a lot of things to get that done i mean basically the back line here uh the last block over here that whole line has to be um demolished so i'm gonna to have to renovate it i'm gonna to have to push the walls back in one space and then that way it's going to allow me to um, have the next port of um, de defense. And that's going to basically be um, these, uh, what do you call it, these city walls. So I'm going to have to do a city wall. Eventually I'll do city gates as well. And then I've got the cornering blocks as well, which is, which is pretty neat. And as you can see there, you need 10 pine logs and 10 hermlock logs that's quite expensive i'm hope 
I'm hopeful that's going to be a, an, a, a massively upgraded defense that's going to sort of stand up to that horde, especially if you don't clear it all, uh, clear the whole horde. Um, either way, the way that the, the way that I see it is that we're going to be spending resources one way or another, whether it's going to be attacking the horde, trying to get to the bridge, cutting the bridge down and then uh, basically prevent them from um, getting to your base or you're going to build up a base defense and hope for the best or you're going to do a bit of both you're going to build your base have it to a point and providing that you thin down the horde as much as you can or as you can possibly can whatever whatever the situation that you're in you will hopefully survive so these are things that we're sort that i'm sort of thinking about at the moment and Particularly with, especially with our lower ranked players, depending on when the horde gets triggered, um, game stage wise, um, you're really not, you're really waiting a little while until you get to things like these, um, the, uh, these city uh, defenses. So you're going to have to rely a lot on your armor and your weaponry uh, to um, disperse the, um, the horde that comes. So... The way I did it, I did it as cheaply as I possibly could. I used tier two clothing. I think it was about at least three times. Um, three times I had to uh, craft up an outfit in full. Um, a number of bone spears, and I cooked them, of course, which is obviously free to do once you've crafted it. And I used um, something in the range of uh, in the range of um, copper sword, or possibly a little bit better to take down the um the mini bosses so i think there's about three of them that you're going to have to deal with when you're in there so um you should be able to get away with one copper sword in doing that um that shouldn't be an issue and then you're going to need a range of um uh bone spears but you're going to burn through a lot of clothing and spears at the same time so just a couple of little um you know uh examples that i've given for myself that i've done um i've only done one horde admittedly but I think that's probably the most economical way I could think of actually attacking it. If you guys have a better idea or a better way of attacking the horde, drop them in the comments, let us know so we can have a better understanding on how to deal with it when the time comes. So yeah, um, I figured I'd just sort of go through that uh, while I had you guys here with me. But yeah, going back to the whole mercenary thing as well, not too sure if... You know, someone like this collector fella here, all that you can see, he's only got these things that he's able to uh, collect. So, if there's any other way that he can collect other things, or will I have to wait for other mercenaries to come that I can um, accommodate, you know, um, with the mercenary bed, then let me know in the comments, because I'll be interested to see if there's any one of them out there that can do pine. Um, which would be really, really good because that that'd be something that I'd be really interested in, and any, any other sort of uh, tier um, resources that are a little bit on the harder to get side, or that you can let them go autonomously and you can do your own thing. So yeah, there's there's a few things that I'm sort of interested in, in knowing as well. But I, I figured I may get a bit of a start in just getting some of these um, some of these things out of the way because, like I said. I'm going to need to, and it's not, not because, you know, um, that I, you know, that I, you know, want to, I have to, I guess, at the end of the day. So, yeah, so that's, that's what I'm thinking about my base defenses. So I want you to let me know what you guys are doing with yours or how you guys are, are coping now with the new update with the hordes and things like that, that are coming through. Um, any tips, as I said. Um, will go a long way and will be much appreciated if you guys can sort of share that um, not only for my benefit but for everyone else's um, just so we can um, you know obviously survive and let's just drop you here and I'm just going to drop you I'll pick you up actually and move you across over here that should do that this I need to get out of the way and I think I might for now just put it in oops I'll just put it in front there. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, knock down uh, these walls here. And get rid of them. And I'm just going to extend it to just over here. Um, oop, if I can get my... 
Okay. As good as some of this might be, it is on the annoying side to uh, maneuver around, which is a bit of a pain. Um, okay, so I don't think I have any wood. I think that would be the reason why. Yeah, so I've got no wood, of course. Um, Alright, so where did I drop my wood now? Uh, that's all of my stone. That's all of my wood. Okay, I'm just going to grab the full stack over here. And let's get to building. And let's just drop that there. And it's going to be solid wall. Oops. Solid wall. Thank you. Can we click it over there? Thank you very much. And. Oops. Ah. And like I said, a bit difficult in doing it, but. If you can get it right. You can definitely get it right. Insufficient material, really? I actually need planks. Oh, there you go. There you go. I had, I did not realise. I thought for whatever reason it was um, wood log. So that's another thing. So another thing they decided to, um, to change on us. So, yeah. Took me a second to, to realize what the hell was going on, but you know, I got there. Alright, so let's see if we can bring it over there. Great. Okay, so that's done. And then I might have to get rid of this wall over here, which is not just going to be a bit of a, a waste of resources, but it is what it is. And I'm going to actually, you know what, I think I should actually move this a little bit. Uh, I think I, I think I'm gonna have to do a bit of a redesign. I'm just having to think about it now, and yeah. All right, you know what? I'm gonna hold off. I thought I'd I thought I'd make a start just to sort of get a bit of an idea of what I sort of want, but by the time I sort of work this out, um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be suitable. So I know I'm gonna have to get rid of this. So that's yeah. That, oh, backpack is full. Okay, so, alright, so you do get some resources coming back to you when you do these sort of things, which is good. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's just go back into that build mode. Oops. There we go. Yeah. So, yeah, so you lose. So you do get some resources back, so that's good. It's, that's not too bad. I mean, it's not like it's all all is lost kind of thing. At least you you do get some compensation back when you actually um, when you have to do do the hard thing. So that's good. I'm actually quite pleased with that. So yeah. So for right now, I don't know exactly how I'm going to sort of do this, but eventually um, I'll have something worked out, and then I can sort of show it off to you guys and sort of give you guys a bit of an idea on what I'm sort of working on and how I'm sort of working into it and yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna have to shift some of these chests possibly more into a central location so i may start building out a little bit i'm gonna to have to do something like that yeah yeah it's gonna to have to sort of happen so yeah i'm gonna to have to spend some time in doing this and, and sort of get something you know happening and yeah so it's gonna be a work in pro uh, progress so right now I think I'm going to have to scrap a lot of what I've got here because I'm actually just not happy with what I have at the moment. So I think I might do it to a, a build that I've done in another game um, and I might do it that way and I think that might be the way that I'm going to do it. It's going to be a medium size base, not too large, but it's going to be, it's going to be moderate and I think it's probably going to work out if I do it that way. I just got to find the center and then I'll, um, then I can put, sort of get to work and start building it out, which I think the center is roughly just where, um, in between this tree and this tree here. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go with that because honestly, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I sort of modeled off the original base that we sort of got at the beginning, which was sort of to the corner. 
but I'm thinking now I'm going to have to sort of possibly push it in the center. I'm not sure yet, but I feel like that's what I'm going to have to do. And then that way I can build things around it kind of thing. I can have these things around it as well. So yeah, that's my thought processes with it. But I think I might go ahead and leave it here today because I really don't have anything else to sort of cover. But I just wanted to sort of get some thoughts out there to you guys, um, let you know what I'm thinking about doing and how I'm going to tackle the base, uh, especially when it comes to, um, to when the horde do come if you're not able to... Uh, defend it. So I think that's going to be a problem for a lot of people um, depending on how often you, you play the game. If you happen to log in once every couple of days kind of thing and you don't really do much about the horde then there's going to be issues. You're going to possibly lose a bit of your base, a chunk of your base. I don't know but I think you know this is something that we should be looking at and hopefully everyone else has, um, if, if they've sort of progressed a lot further than myself, would have um, a better defense or a better base. So what I'll do is we'll leave it here, but I want you guys to let me know what you guys are doing with your bases and how you're setting yourselves up to defend it. Um, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment down below, please. Share the video um, to out your friends and everything else on your socials who might be interested in mobile survival games. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Take it easy guys and I will catch you next time.